The word on the street is he loves sketching. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Sketches everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? Uh oh, looks like we startled them. Enough talk! Let's take them out of the picture first! Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my sketch. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly churls unfinished. What's up with sketching hilly churls? What makes them so interesting? Hmm... I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my sketch, it may give you a clue. You can find these holy churls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh. Something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? A girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm... The essence of life? Whoa, whoa! 
you want to start with that? Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom... That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. Mora, knowledge, and the answer to the question you are seeking. It happens to be an answer that I can provide. How does that sound? Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder, does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? No, Paimon's got a brain. But what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person, how you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. Fascinating. And this floating child is... connected to your body in some way? What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? It's Paimon, not Floating Child! I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. Oh, that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick. Or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Hmm. No, that definitely can't be it. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. 
Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six oceanids. Slimes! Slimes are fine! Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There is nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going to plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. My assistant Timaeus here is helping me with my research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results, inferences, and a few daring guesses, perhaps. I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. 
If it turned out that she did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Tasty? You've got a funny look on your face. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What's happened to her? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. But of course, you're my assistant. By all sense and reason, it would be wrong of me to place that risk onto you. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. The good thing about Ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. But a peculiar person. They don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisfine or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. <laughs> you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal <laughs> wasn't very precise of me. But starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. Uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Hmm, agreed. I'd love to find a moment to put them all in order. Still, experiments come first. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. No, no. 
You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Ah, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Cooking? Paimon was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff! Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. <laughs> Paimon bets you're just hungry. It does sound yummy though. Okay, Paimon approves! Mm -hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page! I'll leave you to it then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. <laughs> 